Hey guys, how's it going? Masterbox here now. Welcome to another FIFA 18 Karimo video. This time, a little small video helping you guys out with the budgets of all the new career mode teams. And by budgets, I mean the top 10 biggest budgets in career mode. So, who has the biggest kitty for you to play with in career mode if you just want to go absolutely crazy signing every single player possible? Well, here we go. These, ladies and gentlemen, are the top 10 highest budgets in career mode amongst the top five Euro uh, European leagues, obviously. Starting off now with Liverpool in 10th place with 66 million pounds. That is the transfer budget that they have. Hopefully, it's a fair bit to... Um, it's not like uh, Liverpool need a super, amount of a super amount of work, but they could definitely do it with some more transfers here and there. But a nice, uh, a nice transfer budget. I don't know if Liverpool should have been higher or lower than that, but if they didn't make the top 10, I would be surprised. Anyway, moving on into the next one. It is going to be Juventus in ninth position. And these next few spots, by the way, are all going to be very, very close. But Juve are currently in ninth. They have £79 million pounds to spend in their transfer budget, which is, again, a decent amount for the Italian champions, the Back to back to back to back to back to back Italian champions. It's absolutely ridiculous. Now onto the next one. It's Chelsea in eighth position. Surprised about that. Roman Abramovich, you got to step your game up, mate. Chelsea in eighth. I'm not so sure about that, but whatever. They're in eighth position. Maybe um, as we continue to list on the clubs, it'll make more sense. Who knows? But still, 18 million for them. Good transfer budget for a team that is already absolutely stacked. You know, besides all the loaned away players that you have, your future is set with Chelsea. Moving on, though, another one, and this is very, very close and a bit surprising. Barcelona in seventh. I thought Barcelona was supposed to be like the second or the third richest club in world football, and yet they're seventh on this list with only $80 million worth of a transfer budget. Now, moving on into the next one, Bayern Munich, $82 million. Uh, pounds worth of a transfer budget for them. That's obviously them in the sixth position, which, again, interesting. I maybe would have thought more, but then again, there are some absolutely bonkers rich clubs, but still, 82 million, that's a fair bit here. Now in fourth, no, now in fifth position, and this is absolutely crazy to me. Real Madrid with only 87. I would have thought that they had all the cash and all the money in the goddamn world. Surely, if not them, Manchester United maybe would have pretty much, or be the wealthiest club in world football. But not, nah, not to be. So they're currently in fifth position. Now moving on into fourth, and another team that has done absolute bits in the transfer window, it's 96 million for PSG, who have spent, what, 280 million? I don't even know what the exact figure is, but they spent bucket loads on both Mbappe and in Neymar in the same window. Financial fair play has just, it's non-existent with these lads. It's unbelievable. 96 million pounds for PSG. Now in third position, this is a team I'm seriously shocked to see this high up. I mean, I know Arsenal have cash, but Arsenal in third. When they never spend any transfer at... Well, maybe that's part of the reason, because they never really spend the money that they have. So they've just accumulated all these cash. Maybe that's why they're so high up. But Arsenal are third on the top 10 highest budgets with 100 million, tra with 100 million in their transfer budget. That's absolutely crazy to me, but whatever. Moving on, the final two. There's only two clubs that are left, and there's only one spot that can be taken to the number one. Now, it's, but it's either going to be, and I'm just going to spoil it now, Manchester City or Manchester United. Take your guesses. Ladies and gentlemen, the second spot, the penultimate highest budget in FIFA 18 career mode is Manchester City. City are the ones that are, that are going to take the second spot. £132 million uh, pounds worth of a transfer budget for them. Still, insane amounts of cash, but you know what that means. Manchester United are top, and how much, uh, how big a transfer budget do they have? It's £148 million. Are you joking me? That is incredible. I really would have thought maybe PSG would have been able to get into that top spot. I, I thought after all the cash that they've spent in this window, they clearly, I don't know, maybe the fact that it's basically what Qatar that paid for all those players and not the actual club itself. I don't know, but massive, man. Manchester United are pretty far outright, as are City, you know. 32 million pounds between third place Arsenal and second place City, and then an extra 15 or so million pounds above City is Manchester United. So those two, they are outright right now, honestly. Whatever though, that is that. They are the top 10 highest budgets in career mode. Some teams that I'm quite surprised didn't make it there, obviously, there's going to have to be some that are left out. Like I would say, for example, maybe Milan. They spent a shite load of cash recently and they still couldn't get into the top 10. You've got Spurs too. Although they didn't really spend anything. They didn't spend any transfer. They didn't. They barely brought anybody in. I know that they did bring in some names toward the end, but whatever. Let me think. Who else? There's definitely some other clubs that I'm surprised didn't make it there. Maybe Monaco. Monaco obviously brought in uh, a hell of a lot of cash after selling some of their players off and 
Who knows, man? I would have thought maybe they could have gotten there as well. Thank you all so much for watching. Until next time, don't forget to like and subscribe. Tons more FIFA 18 videos, both career mode and ultimate team coming very soon. So be sure to subscribe for all of them. Until next time, my name's the Masterbucks. Have a good one.